Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Maths on African Motives. Uh, still on our Mathematics N5 revisions, uh, working with the August 2023 exams. Uh, if we are to check in this platform, we are given uh, by using uh, integration, determine the value of the following integral. So these are infinity integrals whereby you are given the upper limit as an infinite or sometimes they can give us a lower limit as infinite but this time our upper limit was an infinite uh, which is the part that introduces us to the Laplace transforms okay we we'll talk about the Laplace transforms but in this case we are not going to talk about that so how do we integrate this we are given uh, uh, the integral of x e to the exponent of minus 2x like this with respect to x and uh, uh, whenever given these limits, it simply means we, you just integrate normally, uh, whereby you are given, in this case, a product of these two. And under integration, if you're given a product, you're going to think of what application of biparts in this case, whereby we know that our biparts states that the integral of f of x uh, g prime uh, dx is equal to the product of f of x uh, by gx minus the integral of uh, f prime uh, x gx dx in this case all right whereby in this case we can just choose our x to be our f of x so if x is representing our f of x therefore we find its derivative in this case with respect to x which is going to be a one then from the remaining part that we have of our uh, g prime dx this one uh, gx uh, g prime dx is representing the remaining part on this part here, which is e to the exponent of minus 2x uh, with respect to x. Integrate both sides. Thus, we are going to have gx in this case, which is equal to what? Remember, the integral of e to the exponent of uh, f of x is going to be e to the exponent of f of x as it is over the derivative of f of x, you find the derivative of minus 2x, which is uh, minus 2 in this case. So this can simply be written as uh, gx is equal to minus e to the exponent of minus 2x over uh, 2 like this, which is same as uh, minus 1 over 2. So the representing uh, this whole part, representing our f of x is derivative gx and so forth, we are now going to substitute back into our integral because we are saying this integral is going to give us what f of x by gx all right so we are going to have uh, f of x which is x uh, by gx our gx is negative uh, e to the exponent of minus 2x over 2 in this case all right so this is what we have then uh, minus in this case we are going to subtract the integral of uh, f of f prime x which is our f prime x it's 1 times our gx, our gx, which is this part as it is, that's negative e to the exponent of uh, minus 2x over 2 in this case, all right, with respect to x. So this is what we are supposed to obtain. And having our limits in this case of this integration of uh, upper limit and zero in this case, all right. Let us see what you're going to have. If we had to simplify further, uh, this part we can multiply. This is same as over one. So it's going to be x times minus one, which is uh, minus x in this case. All right, we've got e to the exponent of minus two, which we can take down, remember, and negative is same as one over. So it's going to be two e to the exponent uh, of two x. All right, so here we've got a negative and we've got a negative. We take it outside which is a positive, so, and one over two in this case. So it is going to be a positive. So you're going to have positive one over two. The integral of will be left with the e to the exponent of minus two x in this case that we are supposed to integrate. Having our limits, not forgetting our limits from infinity up to zero in this case. All right, so meaning to say, we're supposed to integrate in this case, we are actually supposed to integrate this part of E, but we talked about uh, the integral of E to the exponent of minus two X. We ended up having this part here, the one that we integrated for. So meaning to say, we are not going to repeat. We know the answer for this part, meaning to say we are going to obtain minus X over two E to the exponent of minus two X 
uh, plus in this case. So we are supposed to, okay, let's forget about the sign. Let's uh, say we are supposed to have a plus half in this case, multiplying the answer that you obtain because here I said it's a repetition. We talked about this. So we're going to multiply half times minus e to the exponent of minus 2x over 2. So if you are to multiply this, you're going to get minus e to the exponent of minus 2x over 2 times 2, which is a 4. Then remember, we've got a negative exponent, so we remove the negative, so it was going to be minus 1 over 4e to the exponent of 2x like this, all right? So this was going to give us minus 1 over uh, 4e to the exponent of 2x. So that's what we are going to have it at the end with our limits that we are having, taking down our limits. Remember, the concept is that once you have got limits, you are supposed to apply the concept of upper limit minus the lower limit. We are supposed to substitute the upper uh, limit in this case, minus uh, the lower limit of the derivative that you got. So we have our upper limit, which is infinity in this case. So if we are to put this here, if we are to put infinity, we are going to have infinity on X. It's gonna be infinity and infinity here because uh, all right, if we put here two to the exponent, if we uh, we have uh, x raised, e to raised to an, a, an infinity, it is going to be infinity there. So meaning to say we are going to obtain infinity over infinity in this case, all right? We are going to have infinity over infinity minus, if we substitute our upper limit, which is infinity, e to the exponent of an infinity value, it is going to give us an infinity value. But remember from our... Uh, limits, when we talked about the introduction of limits, we said whenever you obtain a condition where you have got infinity over infinity like this, you are supposed to apply the L hospitals rule. Uh, so meaning to say we are going to apply our L hospitals rule, we find the derivative of the numerator, which is going to give us a negative one over the derivative of the denominator, that's E, we drop the exponent two times two, which is going to be 4e e to the exponent of what? Of 2x. We are simply applying the L hospitals rule where there's infinite over infinite because we can't simplify infinite over infinite. So this whole part that is represented by infinite by infinite in this case, we substitute again our upper limit, which is infinite. Now it is going to be, uh, in this case, e to the exponent of infinite, which is infinite in this case. So that would be 1 over infinity. If you raise e to the exponent of infinity, the answer is going to be infinity there. So meaning to say on our upper limit, now we are going to have this as one over, we said we are going to obtain infinity there. So it's gonna be one over infinity minus one over infinity in this case. So this is from our upper limit in this case, minus we move on to the lower limit. So the lower limit is a zero. So if we put a zero here and a zero here, that's zero, that, that one is going to give us a zero. So there's uh, here, we are going to have zero minus, we put a zero here in place of x, e to the exponent of zero, that's one. So we're going to have one over four times one, which is uh, one over four in this case, like this, all right. So as we know, guys, one over infinite, we talked about our from our limits, I said, uh, constant over infinite approximates to zero. So this one is a zero, that's a zero, zero minus zero, that will be a zero minus, uh, 0 minus 1 over 4, that will be minus 1 over 4. And we've got negative, negative, which is going to give us a positive 1 over 4 in this case. All right, so that was the application of our limits in this case, the integral of uh, uh, a certain function when up, uh, when uh, limited to infinity, when it is limited to infinity, it means you are, you, are, you are simply going back to your limits you integrate, you apply your limits direct as they are, but don't forget now when you are at the at this uh, point, especially on a condition whereby you are obtaining infinity over infinity like this, you are supposed to apply the L hospital. So on that part alone, that is why you see I just substitute this part alone, which is one over uh, a, a e to the exponent of infinity. It approximates to infinity. Actually, uh, if you just say f of x, to the exponent of infinite or whatever function, it approximates to infinite. And we must know that one over infinity gives us a zero, one over zero, it's infinite. So that is uh, the condition that you are going to work. Uh, make sure that you watch the video on the limits uh, so that you can understand more about the application 
of the L hospital through. All right, for now, guys, that's it uh, from Amazon African Motives till we meet again.